What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be another amazing video. Uh, it's actually going to be a vlog about creating a short film on my friends Nick and Charlie Brown's Huracan Performante and I'm going to be meeting up with Armando and Connor who helped me do the short film on the 675LT a couple months ago. So I'm really really excited about that. I got the car all washed and taken care of and detailed today and now I just need to grab all of the gear and head out towards Fontana. So I think it's like I don't know how long it is. But first, a uh, quick little uh, rundown of my office slash guest bedroom. Uh, over here we have the PC setup, got my SD cards, uh, got my big old PC here, got the MacBook, got some clothes that were sent to me from Jason Scott. In here is a gear closet, so I kind of have my printer, some batteries, different, uh, different sorts of stuff, a little charging station. I actually installed a charging wall here, and uh, on the bed, Today I'm going to be taking the GoPro Hero 5, Hero 7, Session, uh, Insta360, my Fiutech uh, AK4500 gimbal, I got my drone, different accessories, the Fuji X-T3, and I believe that Armando and Connor, they're going to be bringing the Blackmagic 6K camera. So the whole short film is going to be shot in 6K so that I, that I can use some of the 6K sensor and do some cropping and moving and all of that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Now it's off to the Performante. Yeah, let's go do that and start it up. Nico, see you later Nico. See you later Cora, Charlie. Bye guys. Oh, I think also uh, something else I didn't tell you guys is uh, I have a pet tortoise right now. His name is Terry. Okay, coming out here to the backyard. I'm doing some work out here. The grass is dead again because I had to turn off the water because uh, we have Terry out here. What's up, dude? How's it going? You've been terrorizing the yard. Come here. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. That's my hand, guys. Look how big he is. Isn't that incredible? All right, Terry. What a random and cool thing. If you guys didn't see my Instagram stories, there was a post on uh, Nextdoor, which is a neighborhood app, saying that there was a tortoise just wandering the neighborhood. So I was like, well, I have three red ear slider turtles already in the pond. Why don't we go see what this turtle is? Picked him up, fell in love with him, and uh, we rescued him. And right now we're trying to find its, its owner. He's in our backyard. And the other thing is it is, uh, I think it's a felony or a federal offense to have a desert tortoise in your possession unless you have the proper permits. So we have contacted the Tortoise Conservation uh, Society here in the area. They're gonna come by, check it out, and if they can't reintroduce him to the wild or find his rightful owner, then we will go through the process of getting our yard checked and making sure that everything's okay for us to adopt him and him be welcomed as a part of our family. So we'll keep you posted on that. And now let's go check this baby out. Here we go. Lamborghini Huracan Performante. This is a one of one Monterey Car Week edition uh, or Pebble edition. We actually saw it in 2017 with our friends Nick and Charlie Brown and his family and they saw it, fell in love with it and had to had to have the car. So they talked to Lamborghini and Lamborghini let them get the car and now here it is in all of its green glory. Uh, already have a Red Bull and water ready to go. So let's uh, throw the gear in the car, grab the gimbal. There we go, because we want to have nice steady shots for this one since the last time that we did this it was uh, not so steady. All right, let's get her started. Flip that baby up, hit the button. Oh. So now, since this is the third time that I've said let's go, how about we actually hit the road and go take care of this video? Let's go! Okay, so we're here in the Performante. We're about to get onto the freeway. In my opinion, this is the best hop in and go supercar that, that, that there is. I mean, the, the lift on the front is amazing. It's quick. It's everything that you could want out of a supercar. And man, I'm not even in, I'm not even in sport mode. Come on. There we go. Now it's gonna sound much better. Almost 
for Mondo and Connor and uh, once I get there we're gonna kind of sync up on gear make sure that we have everything that we need make sure that we have all of the stabilizers that we need and we're gonna get the filming away so I will introduce you again if you haven't already met them from the first video which the link is in the description below and on the little I button like right up there uh, so yeah so let's have a good time let's go here we go yeah we're gonna go All right, guys, we made it up to, hey, where are we? Lake Gregory? Lake Gregory. Lake Gregory. And I'm here with Armando what's and up, Connor. Guys? What's up, what's up? What's up? Connor, you finally balanced that? Two yeah. hours later. My man. This only took me like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so we are out here, oh, let me flip this up so I can see myself. So we're out here at Lake Gregory. We're about to shoot the Performante. Uh, we got our coffees. Armando, Connor, do you guys mind telling them what we're shooting with, what we're doing today? Uh -huh. Yeah, dude, show them your rig. Yeah, yeah, we gotta see this. All right, this thing looks like a Terminator rig, but basically what this is, is a Blackmagic 6K. So Buddy's like, I need a yeah. camera with those mega pickles. You know, so we got the 6K. We got a lot of uh, resolution here. I have the small HD uh, monitor. Um, these you are all the for- small what? This is gonna be used for all the interior stuff. So when Buddy's driving and taking those corners, yep. uh, we have an image uh, 16 to 35 with IS lens. So we need that image stabilization. Otherwise, stabilization, uh, right? Sta oh, stabilization yeah. is we, the name of the game. We, we learned, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then you guys are doing exterior, so I'll let you guys talk about that. Stuff. I mean, I think both of us are going to be rocking the XT3. Yep. I'm going to have it on the Moza, which is giving me a little bit of issues. I didn't balance it. Quite it's properly, okay. I don't do. I don't do it either. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so we got that nifty. Uh, yeah. What so you call it? we're both shooting on the Fuji XT3. Which, by the way, if you don't have an XT3, you can check out my video, the one in New York. There's a button right here that's popping up to tell you. So, <laughs> boom, there you go. But I am shooting on this Feutech AK4500. Um, this little guy right here, uh, it pops off and it can connect to this and it, it can look like that Moza Air. You go single hand. But I like to have it in this cage. This cage is, awesome. is incredible. All of the controllers on the on the right hand, you can mount stuff up top. The most important thing is that right here you have a Manfrotto plate with an Arca, Arca Swiss. This Arca was, Swiss. Yeah, yeah, an Arca Swiss mount on top of it. So once you balance everything, you can set it and forget it and you can just pop the plate back in when you're ready. You don't have to do anything else. It's, it's amazing. And guys, all you here on the car channel love carbon fiber. All carbon fiber. <laughs> so what we're about to do now is we're gonna move the car out here by the lake and we're gonna do a lot of sexy beauty shots and all that. Make sure since the car is clean already, we're gonna do all of the standing beauty shots and we're gonna do all of the rolling beauty shots and then we'll do like some GoPro stuff on the outside and some drone work towards the end of the day so that we can deliver this video to you once it's all said and done. And uh, what do you say guys, should we, should we get started? We gotta get yeah. started, might yeah. as well. Let's go. stuff still the sun is going down um, we're probably a little behind schedule but it's okay because we're about to start getting some golden hour stuff but guys look what Armando just did on the macro oh don't give him away all the secrets don't, oh, don't, don't want him to see everything oh, here oh, here okay here it goes okay. look at this guys can can come on can? come on come on you can do it okay here we go ah look at that. that oh look at that oh my guys God. that's what a macro will do for you so we are gonna do a big like swooping uh, circle around the Performante real quick with uh, with the gimbal. So I'm gonna try my best to hold it out outside the car. Um, and we're just gonna do a big kind of sweeping circle shot. And I, I, wanna, I want it to be kind of like a, um, uh, a hyperlapse type of, type of look. So we'll just, we'll speed it up and post, see how this shot turns out. Okay, so we are basically done with all of the uh, exterior B-roll. We just did some rollers, and now we're about to throw the drone up into the air, and Connor is gonna be in the car with me as we kind of chase it around uh, the lake here. So we will see how that turns out. Uh, we're getting really tight on time. I still haven't done any exterior GoPro stuff. We did some, uh, some, follow, some follow shots, but 
we're still uh, we're still trying to play catch up right here. So we'll see how this goes. We got Armando doing some stories right now, and uh, we're about to go we're about to go up into the air. Oh, we got stories within vlogs. Hey! Okay, so I guess let's put her in the air, Connor. All right, let's do it. We've been doing some GoPro stuff, but I think the light is almost gone uh, from being able to really finish what we need to finish today. I've, I think we've got a lot of great, great stuff, but there's, there's a couple of things for the storyline of the actual video that I don't think have been hit yet, and I think that I may be able to do that without you guys tomorrow. Oh. Uh, no, no I, I know, I know it's, oh, oh, oh we, dang. We, we, can't, can't play with a Lamborghini. Yeah. Um, I think I can, I think I can pull it off without you guys because, uh, I well, think it's tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow's Saturday, no. so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could, we could, I don't know, I think what I have left to do is, um, I need to do the uh, the bedroom scene, and then I want to get some POV driving stuff that I think I can do on my own as well. Okay. Um, other than that, I think I can do the video, and oh, the oil light is on, so I need to add oil to this thing. So... And you can get footage of you putting oil yeah, in the car. Yeah, get footage of me putting oil in the car. But exciting. Nick and Charlie, they know. This thing eats oil alive, and I already have a bottle in the front, so yeah, there's that. Um, so yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I won't see you and Armando tomorrow. I'm sorry. But, it's okay. But thank you guys so much for doing this, man. You, you guys, are, you guys are the best. Okay, guys, so it's the next day, and uh, I already went out, and I filmed everything else that I needed to. I did some canyon driving, some POV stuff. Uh, did all of the bedroom scene and little pull-up thing. Uh, so I got all of that done and I just did it with GoPros and just kind of mounting them in, in different places. I think I'm almost done with the Performante and I'm just gonna go drop it off at O'Gara so that it can get serviced, get some new tires because we have worn it out. And the last bit of bad news is since the beginning of this video we had Terry the Tortoise. We've actually found his owner and the tortoise has returned home so it's a little bit of sad news, but it's also good news at the same time because now he's back with his rightful owner. So, thanks so much again, guys. Charlie's going crazy in the back. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. And please make sure that you're subscribed, like, comment, share, do all those amazing things that we do here on YouTube. And until next time, see you later.